John, we're live. According to the PC has begun. According to the cloud of in progress as well. Stream look good. Thank you. Back up is rolling. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning and welcome to today's remote New York City Council hearing for the Committee on Consumer Affairs. This is a vote. At this time, would all panelists please turn on their video for verification purposes. And to minimize all disruptions, please place all electronic devices to vibrate or silent mode. Thank you for your cooperation. Chair Ayala, we are ready to begin. Good morning. My name is Diana Ayala and I am the chair of the Committee on Consumer Affairs and Business Licensing. Today, we will be voting on a proposed introduction number 2448A by Council Member Gibson in relation to providing paid time to employees who accompany a child to receive a COVID-19 vaccination injection or care for a child with COVID-19 vaccine side effects. The development and efficacy of COVID-19 vaccines have been miraculous in their prevention of infections, hospitalizations, and death from the virus. Epidemiologists at Yale University estimated that New York City's vaccination campaign has prevented about 250,000 COVID-19 cases, 44,000 hospitalizations, and over 8,000 deaths from COVID-19 infection since the start of the vaccination campaign through July 1st, 2021. For those vaccinated, life in the city has begun to return to normal. Live theater and arts have reopened. Our restaurants are operating at 100% capacity and the vibrancy and vitality of our city has reemerged. Unlike this time last year, next week families will gather for Thanksgiving without this, well, this week uh, families will gather for Thanksgiving without the same fear of endangering loved ones. For those that remain unvaccinated, however, COVID-19 has continued to spread the impact and impact their daily lives. This is especially true for children. During the early months of the pandemic, children were considered very low risk of contracting, spreading and becoming sick of COVID with COVID-19. However, as new strains of the virus have developed and as new research has been analyzed, it is clear that children are not only carriers and spreaders of the virus, but may also fall sick due to COVID-19 even if that happens less frequently than it does for adults. Children's ability to carry and transmit the virus is concerning as well as it was hampered the ability of the city to return to normal. In the past two weeks, in the past week, two schools in Queens were closed uh, due to COVID-19 outbreaks. The closure of the schools due to COVID-19 outbreaks impedes student learning and forces parents to provide childcare on a moment's notice. Thankfully, children can now access safe and effective vaccines. The FDA issued an emergency use authorization, an EUA for children between the ages of 12 and 15 this past May. On October 29, 2021, the FDI issued an EUA for the use of vaccines for children between the ages of 5 and 11. The vaccine safety was studied in over 3,000 children aged 5 to 11 who received the vaccine and no serious side effects have been detected in the ongoing study. The nearly 2 million city uh, residents under the age of 18 who can now get vaccinated will be a major boost to the city's a major boost to the city's recovery from the pandemic and will further protect those most vulnerable to serious illness from COVID-19. Nonetheless, parents accompanying their children to get a vaccine should not ch have to choose between the vaccination of their child and going a work day unpaid. More than 1,000 sites will open this month at schools across the city to offer vaccinations to children. However, there have been already been reports of extremely long wait uh, times. Outside Public School 40 on East 19th Street, a child reported waiting six hours in line to get the shot. Not every parent or guardian has the luxury of taking six hours out of the day to accompany their child to get the vaccine. As the mayor has said, you shouldn't have to choose between your paycheck and the health of your family. We must ensure that every city parent and guardian has the ability to get their child vaccinated. The mayor has provided the ability for all city employees to receive four hours of sick leave to accompany their children to the COVID-19 vaccination. This same right must be extended to private workers as well. Proposed intro 2448A, which we are, we are voting on today, would update the Earned Safe and Sick Time Act so that employees are required to provide their employees Employers are required to provide their employees with paid COVID-19 uh, child vaccination time for each child they take to get a vaccination and for any temporary side effects. I urge my colleagues to also vote yes on this important bill. 
I will now turn it over to Councilmember Gibson to deliver a statement on proposed intro 2448A. Well, thank you, Chair Ayala. Good morning, colleagues. Uh, the chair said everything I wanted to say, but I simply am grateful for the committee. Uh, I'm introducing intro 2448. On behalf of Mayor Bill de Blasio in recognizing the ability to give many New Yorkers, private workers, the ability to get their children vaccinated and have the actual time to do so, and also taking care of those children that may have been affected by COVID. I think as we continue to rebound as a city and heal and return to normalcy, we have to continue to look at creative and innovative approaches that really provide access and opportunity for so many New Yorkers to remove any barriers that New Yorkers may be faced with getting their children vaccinated. And although we know when we start these efforts, there are always hitches, there are long lines, there's not the availability that we expect, but as we continue to work with all of our providers, our schools, the Department of Ed, we will continue to make sure that the vaccine is available to New Yorkers for their children. As someone who has a nephew who has debilitating issues and underlying issues, it's really important for me on a personal level to make sure that my nephew, my niece, and all the children in my family get the vaccine, but all New Yorkers, they really decide to do that for their children. So thank you, colleagues. I'm hoping that everyone can support this bill, intro 2448, so that we, we can continue to make progress in our overall effort to get children vaccinated between five and 11 and continue to stay safe and healthy as a city. Thank you, Chair Diana Ayala. Thank you to the committee and the staff for all of your work. And I hope that you will vote in favor. And I look forward to working with all of you. And again, during the season, as you can see by my hat, during the season of Thanksgiving, I wish you and your families a healthy and happy Thanksgiving holiday. Thank you so much, Chair. Thank you. I will now turn it over to the clerk for a roll. Good morning, William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on consumer affairs and business licensing, proposed introduction 2448A. Chair Ayala. I will aye. Chin. I will aye. Kalos. I and all. Thank you. Ku. You're muted, Council Member Ku. I will aye. Thank you, sir. Hmm. Lander. Aye. Thank you, Menchaka. I vote aye. Thank you. Thank you. Brennan. Aye. Thank you. Council Member Yeager. Aye. Thank you. By a vote of eight in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, a proposed introduction has been adopted by the committee. Uh, that's it, uh, Madam Chair. Thank you all. Uh, this vote is now closed.